Welcome, welcome, boys. Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss how you fix a problem with your Crown Vic. Mercury Grand Marquis, Town Car, or Marauder. So as you can see, we have a little uh, seatbelt man illuminated over here to the left. Anytime the key's in the on position, and your seatbelt is not buckled, this is going to happen. Now it's going to do that several times over and over again. And that can be mad annoying if you're running diagnostics on your car or anything like that that requires the key to be in the on position you sitting in here for an extended period of time. So you may be asking yourself, well, how do we fix that, Hollywood? Well, there's a couple of different ways you could do it. One would be to buckle the seat belt, you know, take a seat belt, buckle it, and then it would shut up. But uh, that's not practical if you're just going to be sitting in the car for a minute and the car's not moving. See, that's so annoying, it's interrupting you and me having a conversation with each other. So the other option is, well, maybe you can buckle the seatbelt behind you. Yeah, you could do that, but that's also mad annoying. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, didn't Chuck from Panzer Platform do a video on there's some procedure you can do in the owner's manual? Why, yes, he did. Well, I'm going to turn that off before it annoys us anymore. So, if you wanted to, you could do this. Open the glove box, get out your case here, find the owner's manual. But I'm going to show you the Hollywood way of doing it. So here's what you do. So once you uh, dig out the owner's manual in your car, here's what you do with it. We're not going to need that. So at this point, here's what you do. You grab yourself a knife. Get in your little car and drive yourself down to your local pick and pull. Grab a dollar in change from your ashtray or coin holder, and don't forget your knife, then go inside. Then, after you pay the one dollar to get in, you walk the yard until you find yourself a panther car like the one you have. You locate the seat belt buckle in the panther car just like yours, you use your knife, and you cut it off. Drive yourself back home. Okay, and now when you're back home, you're going to take your key, stick it in the on position, you're going to notice the seatbelt man's still there. Yes, he is, but this time, you have a secret weapon, a way to fix him. This thing. So now that you've got this, click it, and he goes away. Stand, it's gone. Uh, what? See that again, boys. This time I'll show you. He's in the on position. Seatbelt man's illuminated. Here's our buckle. We're going to click it in place. And he's gone. Don't poof. And it's gone. So, you can do the chuck method if you like. But, uh, if you're like me, ain't nobody got time to be reading owner's manuals and doing complicated key turning procedures when it's just as easy, if not easier, to do it the Hollywood way. And it's gone! Faster, easier, more efficient, you just get a spare buckle from a junked car in your pick and pull and keep it into your car for these reasons. So mine, normally when I'm driving around, and there's no passenger, I just click it over here in the passenger compartment, passenger side, stays right there. And then if I do have a passenger, just sits right there, and then I can take it out and use it in here as needed. Sometimes I need to lock this if I have my gun or something in here, so I can't leave it in there, which is why it gets clicked over here. But usually when I'm driving it, this doesn't need to be secured for anything. So there you go. That's how you uh, solve the problem of your annoying seatbelt guy chime in your car when you're not moving and it's beeping at you the whole time. Do the Hollywood method. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace.